We're going straight into the Commons. The eyes to the right, 306. The nose to the left, 325. Yeah! The eyes to the right, 306. The nose to the left, 325. So the nose have it, the nose have it. Unlock! That's the result from the Speaker, John Burko. We heard there that the government has, in fact, won that vote and the motion of no confidence has been lost by Labour. Let's listen to the Prime Minister. This House has expressed its confidence in the government tonight. I, I do not take this responsibility lightly and my government will continue its work to increase our prosperity, guarantee our security and to strengthen our union. And yes, we will also continue to work to deliver on the solemn promise we made to the people of this country to deliver on the result of the referendum and leave the European Union. I believe this duty is shared by every member of this House, and we have a responsibility to identify a way forward that can secure the backing of the House. To that end, I have proposed a series of meetings between senior parliamentarians and representatives of the Government over the coming days. And I would like to invite the leaders of parliamentary parties to meet with me individually, and I would like to start these meetings tonight. Ah. Mr Speaker, the Government approaches these meetings in a constructive spirit, and I urge others to do the same. But we must find solutions that are negotiable and command sufficient support in this House. And, as I have said, we will return to the House on Monday to table an amendable motion and to make a statement about the way forward. The House has put its confidence in this government. Yeah. I, stand ready, I stand ready to work with any member of this House to deliver on Brexit and ensure that this House retains the confidence of the British people. Yeah. Point of order, Mr Jeremy Corbyn. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Last night, last night, the House rejected the government's conclusion of its negotiations with the European. Order, order. order. I called the Prime Minister on a point of order, and the Prime Minister was heard, and she was heard in relative tranquillity and certainly with courtesy. And the same courtesy will be extended to the leader of the opposition and to others who seek to raise points of order. That's the way it is. Jeremy Corbyn. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Last night, the House rejected the Government's uh, deal, emphatically. A week ago, the House voted to condemn the idea of a no-deal Brexit. Before there can be any positive discussions about the way forward, the Government... <laughs> The government must remove, must remove clearly, once and for all, the prospect of the catastrophe of a no-deal Brexit of the EU and all the chaos that would come as a result of that. And I invite the Prime Minister to confirm now that the government will not countenance a no-deal Brexit from the European Union. A point of order, Mr Ian Blackford. Thank you, Mr Speaker, and I must say that I welcome the offer of talks from the Prime Minister. I think it's important, Mr Speaker, that all of us recognise the responsibility that we have, and on the back of the defeat of the Government's motion last night, that we have to work together where we can to find a way forward. I commit the Scottish National Party to working constructively with the Government. However, I do think it's important, I do think it is important in that regard that we make it clear to the Prime Minister, in a spirit of openness, in these talks that the issue of removing article, or extending Article 50 of a people's vote and avoiding a no deal have to be on the table. We have to agree to enter these talks on the basis that we can move forward and achieve a result which will unify all the nations of the United Kingdom. Thank you. Well, we heard a statement there immediately after winning that vote of no confidence from the Prime Minister, Theresa May. That was followed by the Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, and also by the leader of the SNP in Westminster, 